Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, glory, hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome everyone. Day 22. We are on day 22. Blessings, honor, and glory. We are ending this year with intention. We are coming for everything. I'm talking about not, we are not leaving one stone, one pebble, one speck of dust untouched. We are apprehending everything that God has for us in this season because there is an open heaven above us and we praise God for his graciousness. We praise God for his mercy. We have to understand and know that there, if, if God gave us a promise, if God spoke something over our lives, then there has to be adversity that comes with it because the enemy, the world does not want you to manifest your highest self. It does not want you to be as Christ-like upon this earth. And so we are grateful for the, we would call it all joy, all the trouble, all the trials and tribulations we've gone through this year. We will count it all joy because we know that God is. And because God is, we are. Because God is, we are. We are praying, we are preparing, and we are pursuing. We are called to walk on the water. We are called to walk on water, we, to not faint, to not stumble, and to not fall. Because God will grace us with the ability. He will grace us with the compassion. He will grace us with the mercy to be able to do that what he has called us to do. So, Father God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you, Father God, for allowing us to rise on this day and to proclaim you as our sovereign king. We thank you, Father God, that you sit up high and you look down low. We bless your holy name, Father. Father God, we thank you that you are the first and the last, that you are the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, that you are Yahweh, Adonai, our master, our redeemer, our savior, our king. We proclaim your providence upon this line. We proclaim your providence upon this earth. We proclaim your providence over our children's lives. We proclaim your providence over our households. We thank you right now for the yes and amen. We thank you for the answers. We thank you for the overflow. We thank you for being our shield and our rampart. We thank you, Father God, that our eye is fixed upon you like Philip. We thank you, Father God, for choosing us first. We bless your holy name. We cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. We thank you, Father God, for your graciousness. We thank you, Father God, for saving us. We thank you for choosing us when we didn't even choose ourselves. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you, Father God, for your compassion and your mercy, for your unfailing love. Hallelujah. Father God, as we come before you in one body, one mind, and one spirit, Father God, I ask you to cover us even the more with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let it wash over us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, cleansing and purifying us from the inside out. Let the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach permeate our flesh, our, our skeletal system, down to our DNA to the molecular level, Father God, transforming us and transfiguring us into your image so that we may be Christ manifested upon this earth, that everyone that encounters us encounters you, that we may walk before you and come before you on this morning as a living sacrifice without spot or blemish, because you said that when we come before you, Father God, and we repent of our sins, you are quick to forgive us. So we thank you right now for your forgiveness. We thank you for your mercy. We bless you, Father God, for your salvation. How powerful is it that we can bless the Lord? We bless the Lord on this day. We bless his providence. We bless his sovereignty. We thank you, Father God, that you transcend realms, dimensions, stratospheres, and hemispheres, that there is no time, space, or matter, Father God, that you have not created because you are all and in all. We thank you, Father God, that we can look around and see the beauty of your creation. We glorify you, Father God, we bless your holy name, Father God. We honor you on this day with our lives. We honor you with our lives. Hallelujah. 
We thank you, Father God. Praise be to the Lord, our God. We exalt your name, Father God. With all our heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly, great are your works, O Lord. We've seen it firsthand. They are pondered on by all who delight in them, Father God. We meditate on the things, Father God, when we know we should have died from that car accident, Father God, you saved us. When we knew, Father God, that our children should be in jail, you saved them. When we knew we should be homeless, Father God, you provided us a home. We thank you, Father God. We bless you. Glorious and majestic are your deeds and your righteousness endures forever and ever. Father God, you have caused your wonders to be remembered. You, Father God, are gracious and compassionate. You provide food for those who fear you. And I decree and declare on this day that we fear you. We remember your covenant forever. We, Father God, are your people. You have chosen us in your power, Father God. We stand before you in awe, knowing the marvelous works that you have done, giving thanks unto the land that you have bestowed upon us, the inheritance of your kingdom. We thank you, Father God, that the works of your hand are faithful and just, that all of your precepts are trustworthy. Every single instruction that you have given us, the guidance, the wisdom, the, the Holy Spirit ministering to us in our darkest times, we thank you, Father God, for a trustworthy counsel, for a faithful counsel. We thank you, Father God, that they are steadfast forever and ever, done in faithfulness and uprightness. You have provided redemption for us. You have ordained a covenant with us forever. Holy and awesome is your name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I thank you, Father God, that we walk in wisdom. We walk in your counsel. All who follow your precepts have a good understanding of them that we know your word, we know the heart of our Abba Father, and a stranger we shall not, Father God, follow. We understand your precepts and the calling of God upon our lives. We belong to you, Father God, and our eternal praise belongs to you. Praise the Lord our God, hallelujah. We magnify your name, hallelujah. We are blessed, Father God, because we fear you. We find great delight in your commands. Our children, Father God, will be mighty in the land. The generation, Father God, of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in our houses and your righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, Father God, light dawns for the upright. For the graciousness and the compassion of the righteous man endures forever. Good will come to us, Father God, for we, we, Father God, lend generously and freely. We invoke and we activate and we walk in the Abrahamic blessing, that we are blessed to be a blessing, that every substance, that every resource, Father God, that you have bestowed upon us, we desire, Father God, to live generously, that we, Father God, pour out just as you pour into us. Surely, Father God, we will never be shaken, for we are righteous men and women, Father God, and you will remember us forever, and we will remember you forever. We will not fear or have fear of any bad news, Father God, for our heart is steadfast, trusting in you, O Lord. Our heart is secure, and we, Father God, will have no fear. We walk in faith, Father God, knowing that you are. In the end, Father God, we will look in triumph over our foes. You have scattered your gifts, Father God, abroad all over the poor. Your righteousness endures forever. Your horn, your shofar will be lifted up and we will blow the shofar of the Lord in honor of you, Father God. But the wicked men will see and be vexed. They will be in that, have gnashing of teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked, Father God, will come to nothing. We praise you, O Lord. We praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Adonai, Jehovah Tiskanu. We bless you, Father God. We praise you, O Lord. We are your servants. We praise the name of the Lord. Let the name of the Lord be praised on this day, both now and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. We bless and praise your name. May the Lord be exalted over all the nations, over all our households, over our communities, within our churches. Let your glory shine above the heavens. 
There is no one like you, O oh Lord, our God. You are the one who sits enthroned on high. You are the one who stoops down to take a look at us from heaven. You are the one that raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes heap. You are the one that seats us, Father God, with princes. We thank you right now, Father God, for the seat that you have prepared for us. I decree and declare that we have eyes to see the seat that you have prepared for us. And I decree and declare that we have a boldness to sit among the princes of this world. That we have boldness, Father God, to sit down and know that that is our assigned and appointed time. We thank you, Father God, that you settle the barren woman in her home as a happy mother of children. We thank you that our quiver is overflowing. We thank you, Father God, that you have called us to increase and multiply. And I thank you, Father God, just as you did it to Sarah, Father God, just as you did it to Elizabeth, Father God, we thank you right now, hallelujah, that in our barren days, we shall confound the wisdom of men and pour forth, Father God, your seed, your generation, your inheritance from our womb. Praise be to the Lord, our God. Your power delivers us, Father God. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a foreign tongue, Father God, you, Judah, came to God's sanctuary. Israel is your dominion. I thank you, Father God, that we are the descendants of Jacob. We are, Father God, your Israel. The sea looked and fled when you spoke to it. The Jordan parted back. And I thank you right now that you are parting the Red Seas in our lives. We thank you for making a way where there was no way. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that we will walk on the foundation of the Lord and on the threshing floor of the Lord, Father God, with edge footsteps. We thank you that dominion and providence is decreed and declared as we tread forward and move forward to inherit and apprehend the land that you have bestowed before us. We thank you that wealth overflows into our life like never before. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for making the way where there was no way. We we thank you, Father God, for the good report. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God. We thank you that the mountains skip like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it? Why was it? Because you, Father God, are the creator. You, Father God, command and everything responds. We thank you for a swift and obedient response from us right now. We are swift and obedient responders to your word. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We bless you, Father God. We glorify your name. You did not turn your back on Israel, even if that, when they were walking in disobedience, even when they were murmuring and complaining. And I thank you, Father God, that you did not turn your back on us. We bless you, Father God. Let all the earth tremble right now at the presence of the Lord Yahweh, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. We thank you right now for living springs of water pouring out in everywhere of every area of our lives, in our relationships, in our finances, hallelujah, and our health, Father God. We thank you for sprouting springs of life pouring forth. Father God, we understand that idols are useless. We don't trust in the riches of men. We don't trust in our employer. We don't trust in anything but you. For your name is all the name that we need. Your name be the glory because you are, Father God, love and faithfulness. You are the great I am. You are our living God. The nations continually ask, where is your God? And Father God, I decree and declare that your praise will be perpetually on our lips, that we will speak of your marvelous deeds. We will not, Father God, be silent, and we will not be silenced. We will continue to proclaim your name upon this earth, for you are the God in heaven. You will do whatever pleases you. But their idols, they trust in their cars, they trust in their houses, they trust in their, in their manipulation and their conniving and their deceitfulness. They trust in their lies, Father God. It, they trust in all the things that are made by the hands of men. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but they cannot see, ears but they cannot hear, noses but they cannot smell, hands and they cannot feel. 
feet, but they cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make the idols of this world, their cars, their possessions, their businesses, all of their idols of the world, those who make them, they, they will fall with them because they trust in them and they will perish and come back, go back to the dust where they came from. Oh, Israel, we trust in you. Hallelujah. We trust in you, oh Lord. Here is our, you are our shield and our rampart. We are the house of Aaron and we trust in the Lord, Father God, for you are our help and our shield. We fear you, Father God. We trust in you. You are our help and our shield. You are the one that remembers us and will bless us. You will bless us in the house of Israel. You will bless us in the house of Aaron. You will bless us with the fear of the Lord. Father God, small and great alike, you, Father God, will be the one that increases both of our children and our households and all the resources, the wealth that you have bestowed upon us. Father God, blessed be the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Father God, for you are the high, sit in the highest heavens and they belong to you. But the earth, Father God, it has been given to man. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to silence. It is we, Father God, the body of Christ who exalts your name, O Lord, both now and forever and ever. We praise you, hallelujah. We glorify you, Father God. We thank you that the east winds of judgment is blowing into our enemy's camp, blowing away their tents, blowing away their substance, blowing away their idols. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that the north winds of abundance blow profusely in our land. Hallelujah. We thank you for blowing and hailing, for blowing in, Father God, money and cash. We thank you for blowing in, Father God, titles and deeds. Hallelujah. We thank you that the south winds of restoration blow in our land and in our households like never before, that you are restoring our children, that you are restoring our households, you are restoring our health, you are restoring our finances. We bless you, Father God, and let the west winds of supernatural increase and supply, coated with the Issachar anointing, Father God, blow into our land, blow into our households, blow into the lives of our children forever and ever. Father God, for we exalt you, O Lord. We bless you, Father God. We proclaim your providence over our lives and everything that is attached and associated with us. We decree and declare divine alignment with you that we are in tune to the symphonic and harmonious movements of the spirit. We bless your holy name, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. You are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. That there was none before you and there shall be none after you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We bless your holy name, Father God. No one has ever gone into heaven except Yahweh, your only begotten son who came from heaven, the son of man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so the son of man must be lifted up. And we thank you right now that we lift up Jesus Christ. We lift up the name of the Lord. There is no name above every name. And then in your name, Father God, shall have eternal life. We bless you for the eternal life in you, Father God. That I died to declare the works of the Lord. We thank you, Father God, that we are walking on water. We thank you, Father God, that our children will walk for you with fervency and a fire that will, Father God, consume everything and everyone that is not of you. We thank you right now for overtaking the government of this world. We thank you, Father God, for cutting off the nations that oppose you. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. We glorify you for you so loved us, Father God, that you, Father God, that the world, Father God, that you gave your only begotten son. You so loved us, Father God, that as we believe in him, Father God, we shall not perish, but have eternal life. For you did not send him into the world for nothing. You did not send him to condemn the world. Hallelujah. But to save us, Father God, through him. And we thank you, Father God, that the Son, hallelujah. And all those, Father God, I decree and declare that all those that are perpetually, continually rejecting you, but 
resurrection that do not believe in your only begotten son, I decree and declare a swift and sudden death. Let condemnation right now, let the Father God, the judgment be released upon this earth. Hallelujah. But we, Father God, we believe in your son. We believe in your salvation. We thank you, hallelujah. We thank you that the truth comes into the light, hallelujah, and that we walk in the light of our Abba Father. And that truth, Father God, shall be seen plainly and clear, that you will make every crooked path straight. And that we will, Father God, stand in awe of the marvelous works that you have done. I thank you for turning our life story into a living Episcopal, that the testimony from our lips and the praise from our hearts, Father God, shall pour out into this world that will be undeniable, unpenetratable, and unscalable. They will see firsthand the goodness, the mercy, and the power of Yahweh. We thank you that our minds are set free. We thank you that our spouses are set free. We thank you that your children, your inheritance upon this earth is set free. For who you have set free is free indeed. And we thank you for it. Hallelujah. We bless you for it. Hallelujah. We thank you. If you understand that you are free in Christ, if you understand that everything that is happening in your life is for your good, I need you to type it. I see it. I need you to type in the chat. I see it. God did not bring you all this way for you not to make it. There was some pruning and there was some some stripping that took place in 2022. God was stripping you of old ways of thinking, stripping you of old ways of living. But God said, now that I have stripped you, I am clothing you with my majesty. I am clothing you with my righteousness. For you shall see the power and the sovereignty because when I say it, so shall it be. When I say it, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Some of you just had to learn how to follow instructions and live according to what I have called you to live in. Some of you had to get the taste of temptation out of your mouth. The taste of gossiping, the taste of murmuring and complaining, the taste of, of everything of this world. God said, I have removed those, those tastes out of your mouth. And now you are ready to apprehend. The heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. I just need you to lift up your holy hands and receive the fullness of what I have for you. I am about to blow your mind. Stop trying to calculate it out with natural reasoning, natural strategies, natural processes, but because this is going to be done by my spirit, not by power or, or might, but by the spirit of the living God. It won't even make sense how it came to pass. When people ask you, how did this done? You won't even have the words to speak. The only thing that you will say, it was nothing but the power of God. Even when I doubt it, God still did it. Even when I hesitated, God still did it. Even when I was weak, God still did it. That is the only testimony that you will have because this is a new thing. God said, I am doing a new thing. You have never gone this way. You have an idea of it, but God said, the way that I'm taking you, I am literally I am literally taking you, I'm taking you into an elevation that most will suffocate in. The elevation that I'm giving you, oh Jesus, the elevation that I'm giving you, most would suffocate, but you have been prepared for a time such as this. When most are seeing an island that is deserted, you will see the cloak of majesty over the blessing. You will see the blessing manifested and it will appear for you. It, there will be an open door. And God said, I am bringing it to you. 
There's no chasing. There's no having to chase anything. I told you that the blessings of the Lord will overtake you. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. And when it happens, and I see, so the, I'm going to share a story because I didn't know what this meant, but now I see it clearly. So I had a dream and I've been dreaming like mad here lately. I had a dream and we were on a mainland and there was this island, but there was a huge sea in between the island, a huge sea. And all of a sudden it felt like I, you know how you blink your eyes and it's and you see something, but then you squint together to make sure you saw or you thought you was like tripping a little bit and you squint and you see these flashes of light. And I saw these flashes of images coming in and it was literally images coming in. And the more that I looked, the more the images actually stayed. And then it was, and God literally from that island, there was all of a sudden a manifested train. And I never forget, it had um, this gold V-shaped at the end, at the brim of the, the caboose, I think is what it's called. The caboose had a gold frame on it. And then all of a sudden there was a conductor there and I had somebody with me. And as soon as the individual, I was just, I was at awe struck because in the natural, it was just like an island off of far. You could see a couple of maybe it was just a gray, like a brownish grayish rock type of island. I think there was some things on it, but it wasn't anything fabulous. But all of a sudden, this fabulous caboose glistening with gold and blues and darks. Dark colors. But the gold was so bright that it illuminated and it sort of came right before me. The caboose literally stopped right before me and there was a conductor standing there and I looked at the conductor and he was, and without me saying anything, he ushered me in and I said, I have the, I have, I have somebody with me. I have somebody with me. And he handed me some type of extra tickets or it, it looked like a little, um, what is hanging over a baby's crib, like a carousel or something. It was like a, that hangs over the baby's crib that keeps them sort of occupied. But it was something like that, that he handed into my hand to allow those that were attached with me to come in as well, as if it was their ticket. Because immediately when he handed it to me, I said, oh, I got to put this together. This is their ticket. But then when I looked at it again, it was already put together. Now, because I was bringing these other folks in with me, I, we then entered in. And then there, God literally, there was this obstacle course to get to the other side because I'm already in now, whatever this world is, this, this blessing, this inheritance, this land that God has called me to occupy in. And I know that this is now a corporate word because I did not, a governmental word, it is a word for the body. When I entered in, there was this obstacle to get around and you had to hang on this box. And I remember looking at the box and I'm like, that thing looked like it's about to fall off, but you had to hold on to that box to get to the other side because the other way around, I was, I don't do heights and it looked like you were going to fall. And I was like, that's not my business. But then somebody all of a sudden flashed before me and they quickly showed me the, pro they quickly did the, pro the, went through the obstacle to get to the other side. And literally they demonstrated for me how I should do it. And so when I saw it, I was like, they just did it this way. They held on to, I literally saw precisely where they placed their hand, what they then slid across on and sort of like a little obstacle course went across and then got to the other side. And I said, okay, if they did it, I can do it. Okay. And I, I clearly remember the, uh, the demonstration. And then I went in and I, as soon as I put my hand where that individual put their head and started moving forward, I woke up. And God said, I, and literally God is saying, you're not even going to have to figure it out. You're going to get to some places. One, I'm bringing it to you. And you don't even have to announce yourself because, oh, Jesus, everyone is already expecting you. Everyone is already expecting you. They already know your name. 
Do y'all hear me? They already know your name. And when you get into the room, you're still going to feel like an outsider because I felt like I didn't belong. But I was like, I'm in here. Let me do what I got to do. Let me see what's going on. Let me see where everybody else is going. But God said, not only do the, are they expecting you, but I have assigned individuals to you to tell you how to do it. All you have to do is follow their step by step instructions. There is no thinking. Well, if they did, if they, if God says, I'm putting the people before you to give you an example how to do it. Do it exactly like they did it because they're there to give you the cheat code. They're there to give you the cheat code. So you don't have to figure it out because there is no more delay. No more hesitation, no more doubt. I'm giving you the answers to the test. I'm showing you exactly how to do it. And not only am I showing you, I'm assigning someone to you to demonstrate life before you. When you get there, don't try to change what they demonstrated for you. You need to follow it line by line, precept upon precept, exactly how they showed you. If you receive the word of the Lord, type of amen. Type of amen. If you hear, tell me you hear what I'm saying. Because I did not understand the dream. But now it makes sense. Amen. Amen. This is no longer the hour of you trying to figure it out. God says, I'm giving you the answers. I am giving you the cheat code. I am giving you the cheat code and I'm not going to do the, uh, this has been on my heart for a couple of prayer days, but I need to say this. Tasha, you were in my dream and I need you to literally move forward in what God has called you to do. You're going to have to separate yourself from something. Some people, they're sweet, but they're, you can't take them with you in this next season. There is an elevation that is going to happen in your life. There is a positioning that's happening in your life, but your environment and the people around you have to change. Unfortunately, I know you're trying to save them, but you can't save everyone. And everyone is not anointed to come with you in this level. You can still be cordial. You can still be friendly. But right now, you have to move forward in what God has called you to do. I pray that makes sense for you, beloved. Amen. Amen. Y'all, I am, I don't understand. I only dream when they're, I never dream. So for those of you all that are, that know or don't know, I'm letting you know now, I never dream unless it's a prophetic dream. And then when I have a dream, first thing I do is what does this mean for me? And then God illuminates, but I don't always get the answer right away. I had this dream like a couple days ago and I didn't know what it meant, but it was vividly before me. You're going to start seeing some things. You're going to be in the exact same place with other people. And they're going to be looking at it in the natural because we just read today in Psalms 115. They have mouths, but cannot speak eyes, but cannot see ears, but cannot hear noses, but cannot smell hands, but cannot feel feet, but cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. I need you to know you may be in the exact same location as somebody else, but what you see is going to be completely different. And when they don't get it, 
it's okay because it was not meant for them. God is going to show you the supernatural. God is going to show you the supernatural. Oh, I felt that God is going to show you the supernatural. It's not by coincidence because I had this dream a couple of days ago that we just prayed Psalms 116. And now God reveals to me what that dream meant. Y'all pay attention. Pay attention to everything that's happening around you. Pay attention to everything that God is saying. It is now. It is now. I pray y'all sense the urgency and feel the urgency in my voice. It is now. No more doubt. No more hesitation. No more delay. No more trying to figure out. Just do what the cheat code has already showed you to do. That's it. Whoever, whatever your cheat code is. If you can't see your cheat code, I need you to go back to God. And everything that I release, let me just make this very clear. And everything that I release... I need you to take it back to God. I need you to go to God and confirm the word. I need you to go to God and get clarification. I need you to go to God and say, what does this mean for me? I need you to go to God. I need you, I need you to test the word. Because a lot of times we rely so much about what man says. I am, mere, I am merely a person just like you. We test the spirit by the spirit. Everything, you should be going back to God. everything. Test God in this. Ask God for clarification. If you can, if you haven't noticed or paid attention or realized what your cheat code is, ask God to reveal it to you. Because that cheat code is the answer. It's the answers to the test. It's the answers to the test. Do y'all hear me? Type in the chat, I got the answers. Type in the chat, I got the answers. You don't have to study for this. There's no studying. God is giving you the answers. Stop trying to study. God is giving you the answers. All you have to be is do. All you have to be is a doer. Ooh. I'm a, I'm a meditate on this word. I'm a meditate on this word. We have already started. Ooh, let me before, let me just say la for a minute. I gotta give me a second. Y'all. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, father God. Just bask in his presence for a minute. Just, just talk to God. Allow him to speak to you. Say la. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for meeting us where we are at. We thank you, Father God, for speaking a word unto us. Let it pierce our hearts, divide spirit from soul, cutting through our flesh and bone and marrow, Father God. Let it take root. Let it be engrafted on the walls of our heart, Father God, so that as we go about our day, Father God, we will be perpetually reminded of your spoken word, your Rema word. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. We bless you for it. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We seal this word with the blood of Jesus Christ and decree and declare that it shall cause good fruit to sprout forth. We thank you, Father God, that it shall cause good fruit to sprout forth and not just in our lives, but in the lives of those that are attached and associated with us. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. 
Amen. We have already started uploading the recordings on our YouTube channel. So if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. If you want to listen to the replays or just bless somebody else with the prayers that we've been praying, um, because I do believe that these prayers will be a resounding clarion call for this coming year. It's not just for now. We're setting the foundation for 2023 and beyond. We've already received the word that there's a three year there's three years where God is literally moving forward. So this word will be multiplied in threes. It's going to transcend into 2023 and beyond. And we, and I believe that. I believe that. I pray this word blessed you. I pray this word encouraged you. I pray this word spoke to you. I pray this word spoke to you. I'm excited. Tomorrow we will be in Psalms 116 through 120. And 119 is a pretty huge psalm. So I suggest y'all literally, we about to get into it. We about to get into it tomorrow. Tomorrow is a powerful day. Tomorrow is a powerful day of prayer. So I'm excited for that. I appreciate you all and trusting me, praying with me, coming into agreement with me. And I will see you all tomorrow, same time, same place. <laughs>